Ashley out here from the American Digital Network studio, where today we preview the SMU Mustangs who have welcomed former Clemson offensive coordinator Chad Morris to Dallas with open arms. The Ponies faced a lot of adversity last fall, going 1-11. That one win coming in the final game of the season on the road at UConn. But it's a new year and a new coaching staff who plans to get things back on the right track. The SMU offense has a lot of potential heading into the 2015 season. The question is, will they be able to execute? Matt Davis emerged from spring ball as the likely starter, and Morris should be able to use Davis's mobility in a high-tempo spread offense. At the wideout position, Darius Joseph has proven he can be efficient in the right system. He had a 72% catch rate in 2013. Deion Sanders Jr. could be another good weapon out of the slot. Davis can make plays with his feet and he'll have the help of Prescott line, KC Niemchi, and highly touted recruit Daniel Gresham. Defensively, SMU was working with an extremely young group last season. Three freshmen and three sophomores were among last year's top nine linemen. There were also quite a few D-backs and linebackers that missed time with injury. SMU fans are hopeful that new defensive coordinator Van Malone, who spent the last three seasons at the helm of an impressive Oklahoma State secondary, will be the guy to get the job done. He's been coaching defensive backs since 2004 and had previously coached with Morris at Tulsa in 2010. Malone brings an aggressive style with him to Dallas and should be able to use key players like defensive end Zach Wood, linebackers Jonathan Yenga and Robert Seals, and safety Darian Richardson. Taking a look at this year's schedule, the Mustangs open up with four straight non-conference games, Baylor, North Texas, TCU, and James Madison, before kicking off conference play at home against East Carolina. They'll take on Houston before challenges on the road at Navy and Memphis to close out the regular season. With Morris's high-energy coaching staff, there should be definite signs of improvement for the Mustangs this season. Up next, we have Billy Embody on the phone to give us an inside look straight from Dallas. Welcome back. We're now joined on the phone by Billy Embody, publisher at PonyCMP.com. He's been covering SMU for four years. Glad to have you on the show today, Billy. Thanks for having me. So it was a tough year for the Mustangs last season, but a lot of excitement so far with Chad Morris and his new coaching staff. What did you see from Morris this spring? Any major changes that stood out? Um, well, the tempo. It was uh, very much an up, uh, up-tempo, fast-paced practices. A lot of movement, organized chaos is what I'd call it. Matt Davis, uh, the quarterback, really coming out of spring, made some major strides in that offense. Chad Morris recruited him at Clemson. That was a huge takeaway take for me on the offensive side of the ball, as well as finding a couple key targets for him in Jeremiah Gaines at tight end at Portland Sutton um, at wide receiver. And really, it's just the mindset of this team that's changed so much in the spring. I talked about the up-tempo um, pace of practice, but really, it's the mindset of the program, that everything they do has a reason, everything they do has a quick pace to it, whether it's moving from drill to drill, whether it's how many plays they could possibly run in a period. The up-tempo, high-energy nature of this program has seen uh, it go from a kind of a dull, practice that no one would really want to watch to you know having a live DJ out there and, and going as fast as they can. Now SMU struggled to find some consistency in the pocket last season. What's the situation look like at quarterback this fall? Well like I said Matt Davis is coming out of uh, the spring as the guy. He took some steps in terms of accuracy especially down the field and the play action game that this offense has and just really the pressure that it puts on the defense will help Matt really develop as a quarterback this year and he has that dual threat ability that that adds that extra element to it when you talk about taking some of the pressure off of the offensive line which struggled last year um, behind him ben hicks the uh, true freshman out of waco will battle with daryl colbert the redshirt freshman from houston lamar high school and they're they've been uh, locked in a battle really for the backup position neither one could separate himself in in that uh battle in the spring but Hicks has all the talent in the world coming out as an elite 11 finalist um, out of high school and was highly uh, regarded and an early enrollee and really was the biggest signee for Chad Morris to really get some momentum going behind the program in that 2015 class and then Daryl Colbert is a flat-out winner 
um, coming from that Lamar High School program down there in Houston. And he took some major steps in, ter- <clears throat> in terms of a quarter- being a quarterback in the spring. And, and Hicks really struggled with consistency, the talent there. But Colbert really looked like a very calm, poised uh, veteran out there, really, um, although he had his struggles at times, too. From what you've seen this spring, what would you say is going to be this team's biggest strength in 2015? You know, it, 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 it's something that I didn't even see in the spring. It's uh, what I really know is coming in terms of the, the playmakers that they signed in the class. Uh, I mentioned Cortland Sutton, who's already um, who's been here a few years at SMU at wide receiver, a big physical receiver. Jeremiah Gaines is settling into his natural position at tight end. Um, and is a huge target, played receiver last year in June Jones' offense. But then you add players like Xavier Castile, who really they're going to move all across the field, coming in as a true freshman. You add some serious speed in the backfield with Braden West and Xavier Jones. And then you have some of the other veterans in the backfield with Daniel Gresham and Prescott Line being able to contribute. What I think is one of the, the strengths is right now is the group that they have assembled um, in terms of really the one deep at, at Playmaker. I, I think if the, the chemistry is there to develop um, between Davis and the rest of the freshmen, which we saw with Davis and Sutton and Davis and Gaines, the Playmakers will be really the strength on the off- offensive side of the ball. And then defensively, the linebacking core will be really deep as well. They're going to a 4-2-5 defense, and Nick Horton and Jonathan Yanga really separated themselves in terms of their play and then the star position, Shaquille Randolph, is about as athletic as they come. And he'll be able to play in the box, play in coverage, and really be moved around at that star position that'll give defense a different element next year. Now, as Chad Morris starts to restructure his team, what do you think is going to be the next most important step for him in the rebuild? Offensive line. Um, we've seen that in the 2016 class. They've, they've got four players committed already. And then in terms of 2015, they signed some really athletic offensive linemen that, that can move around and Keaton Bates and Bryce Wilds. Uh, Bates will take a little bit more time to develop, but Wilds is ready at 6'7", 305 to really, in my mind, compete for that right tackle position right off the bat and then eventually get moved over to the left tackle side. So right now, the rebuild is in, in progress along the offensive line. There's some... Uh, uh, athleticism that needs to be added there in my mind, but you've also got some veterans in Taylor Lasecki and Chauncey Briggs to kind of lead that group along. Um, but really it's the offensive line and then on the defensive side of the ball, the defensive line um, needs to be uh, improved in terms of the depth as well. So really in the trenches is where it starts for, for these uh, coaches. Now this season, the West Division and the East Division, SMU obviously playing in the West. What would you say is a realistic goal for them this season? A realistic goal is getting to 500 and, and making a bowl game. Um, I don't think Coach Morris is going to get to that 10-win plateau, which is where he's been every single year as a coach, whether as a coordinator, as a head coach in high school. Um, I don't think they're going to get to that, of course. But I do think a bowl is a plausible uh, uh, option there if they can really step up in some of these games that in the past should be at least winnable, but the team had always fallen flat. And I think the mindset is going to change there. So realistically, they could get to those six wins, but a four to five win season is also uh, possibly in the cards as they, as they wait to improve that depth along, along the lines and, and, and where you win ball games, which is in the trenches. And lastly, uh, if you had to pick one player that you think might have a breakout year this season, uh, who would it be? Matt Davis. This is the the offense that he was meant to play in. He was meant to be able to run this up-tempo style of offense, have a solid play-action game, have a really good tight end in Jeremiah Gaines, who who also is a breakout candidate. Um, But but Matt has really taken so many strides as a leader and taking ownership of this team on the offensive side of the ball that I can't see him not having a good year. And even if he can't get the five to ten seconds to throw the ball, that play-action game is going to take the pressure off of him to stand back there and pick targets. He's going to be able to have his his pick of his targets out there on the field in that uh, play-action passing game. And him being comfortable in this up-tempo offense that he's been running since high school and, and over at Texas A&M when, before he transferred will uh, just add to his comfort level and add to his production and, and should make for a solid breakout year for him. 
All right, Billy. Well, thanks again for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks for having me. Again, Billy Embody, PonyStampede.com. SMU kicks off their season at home September 4th against Baylor on ESPN. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Alton.